there's not a lot of barbershop scents out there. They're not getting the attention that they deserve. Not getting much talk. But right now, we're gonna be focusing something from Diz and Durga. And as you've seen from the title, this one is The Burning Barbershop. So let's go. Trigger warning. If you do not like decants or samples, you can click away in this. And miss the things that you need to know about Diaz and Durga's Burning Barbershop. But if that's alright with you, let's go. First, I want to thank my groupmate, Madame in Frag Revolution PH4, giving me a sample of Diaz and Durga's Burning Barbershop. So let's go. First thing that you need to know about Diaz and Durga, there are two bottles of this. First formula, I think, is this one. That was the first formula. And the next form is this. Now, I don't know which one I got, but I believe I got the reformulated version. I'll get into that later. Next thing that you need to know, the price. Well, right now, I'm here searching in eBay and for 50 ml bottles, I'm seeing $134, $125. For 100 mils, we got $200, $180. So it's quite pricey if you ask me. So with the price being mentioned, is it worth the price? We'll get into that later. Next thing that you need to know about this, versatility. As for the majority of barbershop scents, all of these almost are highly versatile from casual up to formal. But this one, Burning Barbershop, due to its incense note or burnt note and lavender, it limits its usability. Maybe in the times that you'll be wearing a collar, maybe in your office, it's more casual, semi-formal, and really formal. I think Burning Barbershop suits and will cater to all those scenarios. Next thing that you need to know, the uniqueness. For the uniqueness, this is really unique. Gets high score for me. It's actually derived, I don't know if this story is true or not, but there was a burning barber shop back in 1890s or 1891. And this, the smell of burning barber shop is a smell of the aftermath of the flame. Yeah, burnt woods on a bed of lavender and maybe a bit of lime in there. I don't detect any mint in this. So just to sum up the picture, it's just a bed of lavender on top of it, smoky, incensey woods. So that's it, that's what you're getting for the duration of the life of this fragrance. With that being said, this is not the most mass appealing scent out there. So this one would cater to the more experienced enthusiasts or those who like their scents with a little edge, a little twist. This one is a barber shop fragrance with an edge because of its smoky notes, its incensey notes, burnt wood notes on a bed of lavender. So not everyone could appreciate that. So this fragrance might be just for your personal enjoyment. Now let's go on to the meat of this. We go to the performance first, longevity. For the longevity, I'm getting six hours out of this maximum. Six hours. Next thing that you need to know, last projection and siage. For the siage, it leaves a very, very soft scent trail. It's almost non-existent. The siage is almost non-existent. And for the projection, well, I'd say this one is on the moderate side or more on the intimate side. It's not on moderate, it's on intimate. At least on my skin, I don't know. What's your experience in this? Comment section is yours. Comment your experience below. But for my skin, this is this is just, let's say, whispering. It doesn't project on me. I'm having difficulties of even smelling myself. I need to put my skin against my nose in order for me to smell this. I don't get wafts of it. And for the conclusion, should I recommend this to you or not? I am not. I'm not recommending this to you unless you really, really like lavender scents with incense or that you want that burnt nuance with not a lot of fuss. Because this one is just incense, burnt woods, lavender, smoke, and that's it. Lavender powder. If you want those combinations, 
or you could try to sample this one but I would not recommend you to buy the full bottle so the price to value ratio of this mm, it dips on the low side for me I'm not recommending this don't get me wrong I love barbershop scents but this one I tried to love this I tried but on the flip side I think I should explore more DS and Durga scents but as far as this one is concerned it's a no for me as much as I love barbershop scents and that's it for today these are just my recommendations opinions and suggestions as always you do you this has been your host Alex I am